The Airbus A380, known as the largest commercial aircraft ever to grace the skies, holds this unique title in the aviation industry. With a production run from 2003 to 2021, over 250 units were manufactured. Yet, not a single one was sold to a US airline, despite the US being one of the world's largest aviation markets. Let's figure out why did US airlines never want to buy the Airbus A380. US carriers, reluctance to adopt the A380 reflects a broader industry trend, a shift away from massive aircraft in favor of smaller, more efficient twin-engine wide-bodies. The Boeing 747-400 has been retired, and its successor, the 747-8 Intercontinental, has not been purchased by any US carrier. Even the new Boeing 777X has seen limited interest from American legacy carriers. So, why did the A380 not fit into the operational strategies of US airlines? Unlike regions where the hub-and-spoke model is prevalent, such as Dubai with Emirates, the US has multiple major airports. This dispersed traffic pattern means no single airport handles enough passengers to justify the A380's capacity. In 2023, over a dozen US airports saw more than 20 million passengers. But this traffic was too spread out for the A380 to be efficient. British Airways, which has retained its A380s, operates them successfully due to strong transatlantic connections and a concentrated hub at Heathrow. However, even British Airways has a modest A380 fleet of just 12 aircraft. In contrast, US airlines operate numerous hubs, diluting passenger concentration and reducing the feasibility of operating such a large aircraft on many international routes. Operating the A380 requires a substantial fleet to reduce per unit costs due to its high operational and maintenance expenses. Airlines like Emirates, which operate a large number of A380s, can achieve this economy of scale. However, American Airlines, United Airlines, and Delta Airlines, with their diverse route networks, could not justify the large fleets needed to make the A380 profitable. Although there are routes within their networks with sufficient demand for A380 flights, there are not enough to support a fleet of 30 or 40 jets. The A380's market debut in 2007 was poorly timed. Jet fuel prices were rising, reaching around $4 a gallon, making airlines cautious about adopting fuel-intensive four-engine jets. By this time, Airlines were favoring more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft. Sales of Boeing 747 had already declined, with airlines turning to the Boeing 777 for their long-haul needs. Between 2000 and 2007, nearly 600 Boeing 777s were sold, many to American and United Airlines. US Airlines had already committed to the Boeing 777 as their long-haul aircraft, leaving no room for the A380. The Airbus A380's production story ended in 2021, and the aviation world began bidding farewell to this giant of the skies. Its relative youth did not save it from early retirement by many airlines, who found it incompatible with future fleet plans. The Airbus A380's inability to secure a place with US airlines underscores the complex interplay of market trends, operational requirements, and timing. While it remains an iconic aircraft, the A380 was ultimately too large and impractical for the US aviation market, which had already transitioned to more versatile and fuel-efficient alternatives. Do you think there could have been a way for the Airbus A380 to succeed in the US market? Share your opinions in the comments section below.